really the first time in history we've had four generations in the workforce. In Sodexo, I think we get it. We understand that there are different generations and that there is a need for these generations to, to understand each other, um, be it the traditionalists understanding the Gen Ys or the Gen Ys understanding the traditionalists, and have a respect for each other and so that we can, we can work together and be productive in the workplace. There is a rationale and a reason that anybody would want to join the group. If they want to just understand themselves a little bit better, understand their own generational lenses, where their cultural makeup came up from, from their age groups, or maybe they want to understand a different generation and how to relate to them. This is everybody. Um, you know, it, it, there, there isn't just an affinity, it's affinity with being of a certain age. I mean, that's what it is, we all are of a certain age. Um, so there, everyone relates to it, and I think it's one of the reasons for the, the grand um, interest in iGen. Generations in the Workplace is, is our signature program that helps bring awareness to our members. For each of the generations to understand what's, what the other three generations you know, might have gone through, um, and what similarities there are between the generations, um, as well as what some of the differences are doesn't make us all just better managers, right? I mean, it just walks us down the road to say, I understand you better, and because I understand you better, I can work with you better. I can have a more productive relationship with you, which in turn doesn't, you know, it's in the best interest of the company. We had um, a social networking uh, webinar we called Social Media 101. They offered three sessions. There were 50 slots available. It was filled within 48 hours. So they wanted to understand Twitter. Why the heck do people do it? They wanted to understand Facebook. Should I friend people? Shouldn't I friend people? Should it be professional? Should it be private? Oh my gosh, there was all these questions. So it was great because my co-chair in communications, Carrie Noon and I, were able to then take a look and develop a webinar that could really apply to every generation and understand and answer the questions they wanted to have answered. We're going to be in a hot and heavy uh, battle for talent with our competitors for the same talent and the ability to be able to reach that talent where they are will be able to help Sodexo as an organization be able to facilitate bringing that talent on board to our organization. The whole concept of the company is for us to be partnering with our clients and understand what our clients needs are and really matching with them and melding with them to meet those needs. Well, if we're not communicating with them effectively, and communication is all a piece of generational relationships, if we're not communicating with them effectively, we can't find out those things that we can partner with those clients with and really advance the company.